I'm really so happy that we're here together and we're going to have a bit of time on the live. It's yeah. really lovely. So thanks for coming on with me and welcome to anyone who's watching. Um, I wanted to introduce Farah. Mm. So Farah is a fashion consultant, a mentor and an author, and she has a wonderful book, uh, Fashion, Business, Spirituality. And it is, I've read it, it's really wonderful. Thank and you. it is, it's not about, uh, it's for fashion students, no, for fashion designers, mm -hmm. but it's not about fashion design. It's about remaining intact with the, with your, yourself, mm -hmm. your self-awareness, your self-growth through your journey into fashion or even developing that, mm -hmm. that awareness mm -hmm. through the, the journey. And that's how it seemed to me. Yeah. It's a really wonderful book, so I highly recommend it. Thank and uh, I thought Farah might join us today for our, uh, our five minutes of magic, which could be just to discuss a little bit of a few nice words, a nice quote. And then maybe some quiet meditation. Yeah. So, um, Farah, I wondered if you had a couple of words, a nice quote or a nice idea to share with us today. Yeah, you know, I was, when, when we exchanged messages this morning, I was thinking of the quote that is one of the quotes that for me is, is very beautiful. And, and because I love the work of Rumi, which many of us, uh, know the amazing work of that poet and and is the one that says yesterday I was clever I was trying to change the world today I'm wise I am changing myself right mm -hmm. and and that is I think it's so important because we are always trying to do you know to change the external things mm -hmm. while everything starts from within so this is why what you're doing is so important I think you know um, we know each other already from from years and Mm -hmm. For me, I think the self-development work, you know, every time we work in ourselves, that is the, 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 the change, the game change, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. that is when things really change. So this is why I love that quote. And, and it takes a lot of work and courage to work in yourself, but it's, it's a journey and it's a life journey and it always pays off. You know, always mm. beats off when you work, when you change inside is when you see the results outside. Right. So, mm -hmm. so that's the quote I would like to share today. That's wonderful. I love it. It's, um, yes. So I, I suppose that especially this, this, uh, turning within rather than mm. trying to, uh, I think, I'm not sure who said it, but polishing the mirror, yeah, changing the self rather than polishing yeah. the mirror. Um, that, that's something that you, how have you, I'm interested, that kind of idea, mm. when, you've, when you share that or talk about that with your colleagues or your students who are mm. in fashion, how is that received generally? Or well, you know, what, it's, what it's been, it's, it's, it's way better now after the pandemic, Emma, um, because, you know, you remember when we met, it was before all this craziness yeah. and, you know, it was very, yeah, <laughs> pre, and it was so hard to, to pass this concept. So I was very much, you know, very much um, respectful because you need to, to know that everyone is in their own journey and, mm. you know, but now people is way more aware of these things of how it's important, you know, to go within and, and to work in ourselves and, you know, to, to be responsible, because I always said, I mean, you, you have to be responsible with your actions, with yourself, with your, you know, well-being. I mean, do not pretend that as external people, external circumstances are going to take care of you. I mean, you are responsible for yourself. Um, by the way, this is something I wrote in my Sunday newsletter, you know, mm -hmm. the courage to choose yourself. I mean, that is so important. So now is way better. There is more mm -hmm. opening. Uh, I suppose you you see it too with your work, mm -hmm. um, but it's still we there is a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. This concept. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. I've um I loved hearing that. Thanks so much, and I love the words that you've chosen. I love Rumi as well. So thanks for sharing those. Uh, without further ado, how about we have a little bit of close tonight? Yeah. Um, so I generally, for this five minute magic, um, take folks through a couple of minutes meditation. Is that okay? Would you like to join in or would you like to share some of your practice with us? No, I would no? love to do, the, it's the morning here in Mexico, so it will yeah. be lovely to start with a meditation with you to relax the nervous system and the vagus system and to start properly the day. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Fabulous. Oh, well, I'm glad to be here doing that with you and with you guys at home. 
So wherever you are joining from today, whether you're in Mexico, like lovely Farah, or you're here in England or somewhere else, if you would join me, take a nice, easy, comfortable seat. Mm -hmm. And so you make yourself nice and comfy there. There you go. If it feels right, you can close your eyes. So we're just meditating today for a couple of minutes, maybe three or four minutes. It's such a small amount of time, really, in the scope of a whole day, if you think about it. So, so give yourself the opportunity, either now or save the video, um, or we will repost it later, if you can't join in just yet. But give yourself the chance, so close the eyes, take a nice, easy breath in. And slowly out. A nice easy breath in and slowly out. And maybe one more nice and easy in and slowly out. Take a moment to just notice what's happening around you, where you are, everything's allowed. Different sounds in the room or outside the room or where you are. Different temperatures, maybe the temperature of the air against your skin. And different sensations, just the feeling of your body, your position where you're sitting, the awareness of your weight, your position, how you are. All these things all happening now. And so you take a moment to, to just listen, to eavesdrop even on just this, this quiet, simple now, even if nothing much is happening, even if it's just the quiet in the room. Just listening. And as we bring our, our quiet time near to its gentle end for today, just a few minutes, I wonder if you'll join me in just bringing your attention onto your breathing. So just the gentle in, gentle out of the breath, maybe you're breathing through your nose. So you just notice the way you're breathing in, you're breathing out. And I'll mind the time, so we'll just have a minute or so, less than that probably. I'll mind the time for us and see if you can just focus on your breath. And let the breath breathing be the main thing that you are aware of. It's okay if you're aware of other things peripherally, just let the breathing be the main thing. So I'll mind the time and let's just be with our breath for a few, few seconds.
And when you're ready, bringing the attention back, getting a sense of your hands and feet, and we come back together. So, well done, everyone. A few minutes of practice today. You can put a big tick in your in your journal. Love. It was lovely when I was uh, breathing in, breathing out. I was smelling the flower. It, it, the smell of the flowers was coming. This is why I put them close. And it, it brings uh, peace, so much peace.